fan is getting paid dirty some mil to play like trash this whole season. So whether Car whether Jalen Hurst balls out or whether Jalen Hurst plays like trash, that does not negate the fact that we should have beef with Carson Wentz right now. Carson Wentz is wasting our money, not Jalen Hurst. So you guys saying, oh, Jalen Hurst played bad last week. And if he played bad or if he played good, that does not solve our Wentz problem. We have one problem at the quarterback position, and that's Wentz, not Hurts. So stop talking about Jalen played bad or Jalen might play bad or Jalen doesn't have all the fundamentals yet. We're not worried about how Jalen plays. Jalen's getting paid next to nothing. We're worried about how Wentz plays. Now let me get that hot rant off real quick. What's up? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spazorts. I'm Simone with the uh, guest, guest sports. So if you are new here, or even if you are old here, and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss no video. Because this Eagles off season, guys, it's about to be some high drama, okay? I'm talking about delete your HBO subscription, delete your Netflix, delete your Hulu, Lock in on this Eagles content because our offseason, y'all, is about to be some high drama. Okay? So get ready for this long ride. Now, today's video, if you ain't guessed it, it's about wits. Isn't everything about wits? Yes. Almost everything's about wits. Now, it's low-key a rant, but in the beginning, let me just go ahead and say my piece. All of you guys and girls who are saying we're trading Jalen Hurts, why? Why would we trade Jalen Hurts? Look deep into my soul as I spit some facts. Jalen Hurts is on a rookie contract. He's getting paid next to nothing. We have a backup quarterback, a capable backup quarterback. Now, not all these backup quarterbacks in the league are capable of anything. Okay? Some of them just really riding the bitch. Some of them, like, their teams are like Doug Hodges. Okay? Remember when Doug Hodges had to come in for the Steelers? Like, Anyways, we have a backup quarterback that's getting paid, oh, like what, two mil, maybe one point some mil. Why would we trade Jalen Hurts? We need a backup quarterback, and we have a, every team needs a backup quarterback. Don't take it personal, because you Carson Wentz, people be acting like Carson Wentz, your, your uncle. Like, don't take it personal, but every team needs a backup quarterback, right? Every sport, you need a backup, right? We have a backup quarterback that's a budding star, a potential star, that's getting paid next to nothing. Why would we trade him? Because if we trade Hurts, we're going to have to pay somebody to be a backup. Whether Carson's playing great or whether Carson's playing bad, we still have to have a backup quarterback. We got a backup quarterback that's a young, could be a young stud, and Jalen Hurts getting paid next to nothing. Why would we trade him just to sign somebody else for more money? Does that make any sense to you? No. And now also, let me say my this quick piece. So, I don't know why you guys are taking Jalen Hurts so personal. You guys are really taking Jalen Hurts so personal. Whether Jalen Hurts plays phenomenally well or whether Jalen Hurts plays like buns. That does not negate the fact that Carson Wentz has been playing like trash all season. Our money is tied up in Carson Wentz. Our money isn't tied up in Hurts. We shouldn't give a flying flip how well Hurts plays because he's only getting paid a buck fifty. Carson Wentz, on the other hand, is getting paid dirty some mil to play like trash this whole season. So whether Car whether Jalen Hurst balls out or whether Jalen Hurst plays like trash, that does not negate the fact that we should have beef with Carson Wentz right now. Carson Wentz is wasting our money, not Jalen Hurts. So you guys saying, oh, Jalen Hurst played bad last week. And if he played bad or if he played good, that does not solve our Wentz problem. We have one problem at the quarterback position, and that's Wentz, not Hurts. So stop talking about Jalen played bad or Jalen might play bad or Jalen doesn't have all the fundamentals yet. We're not worried about how Jalen plays. Jalen's getting paid next to nothing. We're worried about how Wentz plays. Now, let me get that hot rant off real quick. Now, all of you saying, oh, we're not going to we trade Hurts, lock in with Wentz. First of all, they have to battle it out in training camp if we don't trade him. Because if we don't trade Wentz before March, Wentz is going to get his 2021 salary. And we cannot let that happen. He's going to get his, yeah his 
his 2022 salary some of that has to become guaranteed we cannot let that happen so the first of all let me not downplay Wentz before i talk about the trade rumor we can trade Wentz to the steelers or we can trade Wentz to the washington football team okay now we need to be thankful that there's several teams in the nfl that could be i and Wentz, okay and willing to make the trade now we also all know that you know the colts have that tie with frank wright and we already know we already did that video we already talked about it you know we've been talking about frank wright for the last couple of months so we already know the colts is an option but the steelers are also an option too big ben <laughs> He on his last leg, okay? He 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 bulky Ben right now. He ain't big Ben. He bulky Ben, okay? He bad. He in bad shape Ben. Bad shape Ben. Bad built Ben, okay? He looking like old. You know what happens? Is you age. You know what I mean? You can't be that guy forever. So Ben is on his way out. And unless the Steelers draft a quarterback, and now mind you, the Steelers don't have a top pick in the draft, so it's not like they're gonna be getting a Justin Fields. So unless they draft a quarterback, which, you know, they probably will, and I guess rock with Ben beginning the next season, they can take Carson off our hands. And the Steelers are an organization that's very good at developing people. So maybe they can bring the best out of Carson. They have a great coach in uh, Mike Tomlin. So, yeah, they can possibly make that work. Also, someone else who might need a quarterback, the Patriots. We was rooting for you, Cam. We was rooting for you, but... Us rooting wasn't enough. That was sad to see. But also the Washington football team just released Dwayne Haskins. And the Washington football team are a team that's going to need a quarterback. And Carson Wentz is still, could still be in his prime. Okay, Carson Wentz is still young-ish. He's in his mid-20s. He's still got like 10 years left in football. What is Drew Brees, 40 years old? Carson Wentz can play for another 10 years. So it's not even like Carson Wentz is old. He can still be tapped in. He still can have some of his best football days ahead of him for another team, guys. We have a losing record since the Super Bowl. I think we're 22, 23, and 22 and 23 and one. Let me see exactly. So Super Bowl, yeah, we're 22, 23, and 1. It's time for a reset, guys. It's a lot of, we got a lot of, it's got to be out with the old and in with the new. And Carson Wentz, his attitude is just not even giving me want to be here, okay? If you get benched, you should be ready to battle it out for your spot. Getting benched isn't even the last, like, it's not even the end of the world anymore, okay? Getting benched as a quarterback is not even the end of the world. You just come back in, and if you ever get that ball back in your hands, you got to just play harder than the guy that replaced you for those couple of games. All Carson has to do is beat out Hurts, but Carson went a while and pout and talk about some, oh, um, I don't want to be a backup quarterback, trade me. Well, don't play like a backup quarterback. Play like a starting quarterback. While we put you back in, you've been hot buns all year. It's one thing to have two, three, four bad games, but to be buns all year, it's time to go, okay? And the thing is, we paid Carson way too fast. We paid Carson way too fast, guys. The smartest thing that the Dallas Cowboys ever did was hold off on paying Dak. And I'm not saying Dak is a bad quarterback. Dak is a great quarterback. But you want to assess the situation. Is it Jason Garrett? Or is it Dak? You know what I'm saying? Why aren't we succeeding? So they fired Jason Garrett. They want to see what Dak looked like with a new coach. They want to see what Dak looked like in a new system. Obviously, he got hurt, unfortunately for him. But you don't... Why, would we, why do we pay Went so fast when another quarterback just won the Super Bowl MVP? When another quarterback just won us the Super Bowl? Why would we pay Went so fast? Umbranuxed. Look it up to me. But let me know what you guys think. I think <laughs> Duke it out in training camp. Wiz gotta have a better attitude to me. It's just the flip it attitude that I just don't like. I don't, don't give me flip it. Give me dog. Like Colin Murray, that dog. I'm just here to win, period, point blank, period. I got the dog mentality. That's what I wanna see in my quarterback. Jalen Hurts, in his press conferences, he's giving unbothered. I'm just here to win, point blank, period. So let me know what you guys think. I already know you have a lot to say, but guys, we have a long off season and <sighs> we have a long off season and. We got a lot of drama to talk about. I'm going to be dropping my video on what, who we should draft. Obviously, we have the number six pick in the draft right now. We could go wide receiver. We could go linebacker. We could go offensive lineman. But we're going to talk about that in another video. Also, we're going to talk about coaching. Should we keep Doug? Should we hire another coach? Um, we're going to talk about that. Also, of course, we're going to be talk, breaking down some draft picks, potential draft picks. Of course, we're going to be talking about... Um, 
all of these unrestricted free agents that we need to cut and get rid of and refresh it's about to be hell in philly guys we about to be gutted our roster about to be ugly we about to be looking brand new but you know what it's it's, it's time to refresh it's time to start over polish our ring and keep it moving point blank period that is the mantra in 2021 polish my super bowl ring and keep it moving polish my ring and keep it moving Say it with me, guys. Polish my ring and keep it moving. You know what? It's time, to, it's time to refresh. Too many old heads from the Super Bowl run that just ain't working no more. It's time to keep it moving. Period. You got to know when to move on in life. That's how you keep a healthy relationship. I'm trying to keep a healthy relationship with the birds. But let me know what you guys think. I already know you're probably blowing up my comments, disliking the video. But if you're here for Carson Wentz to the Steelers, let me know. If you're here for Carson Wentz to the Washington football team, uh, let me know as well um it's crazy in sports these days anything can really happen who would have ever thought tom brady would be with the bucks who would have ever thought philip rivers would have moved who would have ever thought peyton manning would have ever left anything can happen especially at the quarterback position so guys make sure you like this video make sure you comment make sure you subscribe keep rocking with me we got a lot to talk about guys and i miss you guys talking about philly stuff talking about the eagles the eagles just been sucking so bad lately and you guys haven't been watching none of my eagles videos so i haven't really been dropping any eagles videos but i'll see how you guys react to this video and we'll see if we're gonna keep talking birds okay bye